got him. Victory Royale. going on smoked bacon here is sunny bacon gaming we just wanted to take this time to thank you all we have reached our first goal of 100 subscribers y'all are awesome and we are beyond grateful for the love that you have shown us as we continue to build our channel we are now going to launch this giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers you can see right here what is in this giveaway the link to this giveaway is in the description right down below us don't forget to share if we hit 200 subscribers before this giveaway ends, you will all have twice the chance to win, as we will be giving away to two different people. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any new or upcoming giveaways. I am going to try to give you some tips of how to win in Season 6. Now, as we know, Season 6 has brought some changes with some items being vaulted and changes to the map. What I have done to win in Season 6 is go back to the basics of Fortnite. I have already won more games in Season 6 than what I did the entire time of Season 5. The thing to remember about Fortnite is it is a decision making game. Every decision you make in game will decide how your game ends. As you can see in this clip right here, I had a couple decisions to make with this many people. There is a guy outside and a guy inside the house. Instead of engaging inside the house, I chose to disengage, take the high ground, and take him out with a few shots. Let's jump into this video and give you some more tips. It is not a difficult task to win in Fortnite if you remember the basics of the game and know that the high ground is king. Whoever has high ground has the best chance at winning the game. As you can tell in this replay mode, I do not have the high ground. I do have one guy below me and two above me. The biggest thing about this situation is me not having the high ground is to know when to move, know when to take a fight. If you do not have the high ground, I would recommend not taking the fights. It is very, very hard to win a fight on the low ground. As you can tell, the zone is pushing us out. I ended up moving. I had a guy still above me. I'm at this point worried that he's going to start shooting at me. He has his own pressure as well. So he is going to begin to drop down off of that mountain. We have a guy off to the left of the screen that is across the valley from me. And we still have the guy in his box below us. Like I said, this is a time that we need to remember when to take this fight at this point i am about equal height with the gucci right next to me but i have still not taken that fight because it is not a for sure fight that i can win being where i'm at i can be shot out off to the that high ground very very easily and i don't want to lose high ground and die to fall damage as you can tell the snipe just came from the right hand side at gucci I'm going to let these two fight it out. They are already engaged in battle. He already had been fighting him up on top of the hill. They know where each other are. They're not paying any attention to me. So like I said, it's all about knowing when to take your fight. If you can't win the battle and they don't know where you're at, just wait. Wait for the perfect opportunity. So now the zone is going to start pushing us into a different direction. So now I have to move. As you can see, he still has the high ground. He's above me. I'm going to concede my high ground temporarily. And I'm going to start running to my next spot and get to end zone. From here, you can tell that right here, I jump out of my one by one. I go underneath of him where he still has not seen me. The guy to the right is also moving towards zone. So everybody's going to start migrating over to zone. I know I still got one above me. He's trying to keep the high ground as long as possible, knowing that high ground will win him the game. He's going to start shooting at me. I know he will. But there it is. As soon as I start to look, he took a shot. I need to get him off his high ground. 
So I'm gonna shoot him down. Now we're all on the same playing field. No one has the high ground. If I can't get the high ground, try to bring them down to your level if possible. Here's this from the aerial view. They start shooting at me. I build up a couple walls and then I'm gonna shoot him down. We got the other two that are on the same level. They're also fighting. All four of us right now are on the same level. No one is higher. No one is lower. This guy starts to build up on me. So I got to make a quick decision. I have to take the high ground. He gets the high ground on me. I will lose. Now, as you can tell, I put a roof over a ramp over top of him. I get the high ground. He conceded the high ground back down to ground level. At this point, I'm going to have to start thinking about how to get back down without conceding too much high ground. Like I said, high ground is everything in this fight. Once I was able to put that ramp over top of him, he gave up on the high ground. He knew he was not going to take it back from me, and he ended up dropping down. Like I said, this is a decision-making game. I knew I had to get off the high ground because he was just going to shoot me down, giving him the advantage. I ended up dropping down on my own terms to take the fight, knowing he did not have time to heal yet, and ended up taking that win. Here is this from my perspective. I jumped down with the shotgun, shot him right in the head as he was trying to get in the zone, and takes the win. The dog's happy, I'm happy, and then I end up taking a dance for the victory royale. Now, no, I am not the best Fortnite player on console. I'm not trying to claim I am. I'm actually not that great at the game. As you can tell, since I've been playing during Season 2, I only have 125 lifetime wins. I do have a decent amount of kills. My kill death ratio is above 1, and I get more than 1 kill per match, obviously. I get a higher kill, than, kill ratio than death ratio. Out of 4,549 matches, I've won 125. That gives me a 2.75% win ratio. That's not great, but it's not horrible either, I guess. I mean, there's a lot of people out there better than me. Like I said, I have won twice as many games in Season 6 than I ever did in Season 5. Here's my solo wins alone, not just my lifetime. So for solo, I've got 46 wins. Solo wins total. Giving myself a 1.3 kill to death ratio and a 2% win ratio out of all solo games. Now, I mean, that's out of 2,276 matches. Now we're going to jump in, do one more match at the end of the match, and you're going to see a live speed of how I played this game out. So I do know I have somebody below me. I've heard them. They've built up a little bit. He has a grapple gun. I just don't know exactly where he's at. I'm trying to spot him. I know he's in this direction. Actually, there he is right there. So he's trying to grapple on me. So I showed my shotgun. He missed. Where's he at? Where's he at? Uh, he's trying to dig out my tower. Now, this tower is only three blocks high so I won't take fall damage even if I do end up getting knocked down but I'm trying to get an angle on him so that I can shoot him I don't know exactly where he's at I know he's underneath me somewhere he's trying to build up on me now there he is so I started to try the high ground he beat me to it so I was going to try to shoot him into my trap missed once I finished him off there I end up conceding my high ground to heal up now, I have no idea where these other two enemies are. I have to move to the next circle. So that means I have to concede my high ground of this mountain. I was pretty safe up on this mountain, knowing that everybody had to come to me. Now, I have to move. Moving is the most dangerous part of Fortnite. And I got an enemy right there. What is he going to do? And we're, okay, I don't know where he went. Okay, so we're going to switch out some guns while we can. Take the heavy shotgun. Right, I still don't know where these guys went. I know there's one over there somewhere, but I'm not sure where. 
And we're gonna just we're just gonna get to the zone. And actually there's one guy right there. So I'll go check the highest point of the next zone, which is this mountain. And I just messed up my build. Messed up my build again. Let's go trap, let's see if he comes into it. Alright, go up. Now I have the high ground again on him. And the tree would start to take my bullet. So there we go. So now there's one guy. I just saw him peek over there. He's on the bottom of the mountain. He's in a very, very bad spot right now. He's actually behind this tree. There he is. He knows he's in a bad spot. He got a little hit on me right there. Drift skin. High level drift skin, so he's not too horrible at the game. But he's in a very bad spot, and there's the victory royale. If you can keep the high ground in Fortnite and know when to take the fights and when not to take fights, how to disengage, always have a backup plan to disengage from a fight, you will start winning games of Fortnite. And that's mainly what Fortnite is. It's all about making the correct decisions of when to take these fights. If you don't know that you can win it, and you can't avoid the fight, do it. All right, this was a six kill win. The other one that you saw was a three kill victory royale. Both of them count as a win. This even goes for professional players. If you watch any professional, they always try to keep the high ground. The high ground will be what wins you the game. Obviously, don't go up too high. If you do, make sure you have some way to get off of that high ground. But that's the biggest tips I can keep give for you right now of how to win. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, let us know and we will try to get something put out. But until next time guys, stay crispy.